All right, Geraldo was highlighted on the Young Turks. And of course, most people that have followed me know that the Young Turks, as far as I'm concerned, are idiots. Well, they seem to think Geraldo's an idiot. So let's take a listen to this. And but that doesn't it. matter because Geraldo Rivera was on Fox and Friends and he believes that had he or anyone else seen Trayvon Martin in that neighborhood, they might have reacted similarly. Let's take a look. If I see those six ladies putting themselves on that rainy night in that housing complex that has just been burglarized mm -hmm. by three or four uh, different groups of sure. black youngsters from the adjacent community. So it's a dark night, a six foot two inch hoodie wearing stranger is in the in the immediate housing complex. How would the ladies of that jury have reacted? I submit mm -hmm. that if they were armed, they would have shot and killed Trayvon Martin a lot sooner than George Zimmerman did. Wow. This and of course, this is the thing that they're not paying attention to, obviously, is that when Geraldo's saying this, he's putting the girls in exactly the same position George was in. So when they're saying, when he's saying that they would shoot earlier, that means that they wouldn't wait while, while Trevon bashed their skull on the concrete for a minute. They wouldn't wait that long. This is self-defense. Sure. When it doesn't matter that Zimmerman provoked it or that Zimmerman was out of line to be so aggressive and overzealous as a neighborhood uh, watch captain. Oh, Jesus, I, I can't. I, it's hard to, I mean, that's it. Like, what does it take? Like, enough tolerance. Don't go on his fucking show anymore. I submit no, that, no. Your, that Geraldo is an idiot. I yeah. mean, he is, that is the worst kind of race baiting. What a so, there you go. You know, now he's saying that he's a race baiter. I, I'm sorry. I would say it's the other side, other way around. You guys are the race baiters. I mean, the fact that Geraldo didn't say that George was getting his head cracked at the moment that he shot, it's like these guys don't even realize it. And you're going to hear that in a second. You're going to hear right now. Dim view he has of humanity. Watch this. Yeah. If he think really off the bat, they he can tell you that these six women <laughs> would they shoot him. They would have oh, shot him immediately, yeah. though. They wouldn't have waited as long as George Zimmer. That's right. While he was getting, while they were getting their heads cracked on the concrete, they would have pulled out the gun and shot him. Yep. Zimmerman did. They would that have shot Zimmerman's him much got quicker. Patience. Yeah. <laughs> One thing you can say was. about George Zimmerman. But these people the are patient guy. guy. The yeah. patient guy. Yeah. All right. Let, let me would. go a little bit more over the top. Here's the yeah. idiot. All right. Well, Geraldo, if you're in a strange neighborhood for whatever reason, you are Latino, right? I mean, if you're a stranger in that, and if there was ever a crime in that area. You're a minority. Any white woman would have the right to shoot you in the face. If you're right? cracking I mean, their head on the concrete. First, you ask question later. I got a mind. If you're wearing, you better be wearing your suit the whole time. Last time I saw Geraldo, I was on his radio show. He was wearing. See, this is the point that they are trying to make, and they're, it's so irritating because they're just so idiotic. Because they just want to ignore the fact that Trevon's cracking George's skull on the concrete. They want to ignore it. They don't want to talk about it. They want to say, uh, you, you know, let's put. Let's put Geraldo in that same position. Now you're just walking through a neighborhood and some woman's going to shoot you in the face because you look like you might be somebody who committed a crime. That's not what happened. You know, idiotic. Wearing a white t-shirt, you know, and he's got some tattoos, etc. You That's... better not go outside like that. You're a minority, okay? Have and a... so if, I, if a white woman sees you, she's got every right in the world as a good, red-blooded American to shoot you in the face and kill you, Geraldo. That is the most ridiculous thing is that's what he this is the point he's trying to make that this is what he really believes happened to Trevon that George just shot him just decided I'm just going to shoot this kid. He's just walking through the neighborhood and I'm just going to shoot him. This is how ignorant these people are. They're so you know it. It boggles the Okay, because if you're a minority, that's what you got coming. Look, my God, my house got broken into, right? We've talked about this. It was fairly recently. And so I got every right to be spooked. It wasn't in the neighborhood. It wasn't a burglary. It wasn't a little. It, my family was in the house. My kids are in the house. The guy busts into the house. It's a pretty traumatic situation. And later, there are people who come by the neighborhood every once in a while. They're strangers because it turns out they're selling magazines or they're doing this or they're doing that. And there's different groups. There was two white girls. There was two black guys, etc. right? I didn't take out a gun and shoot everybody in the neighborhood because, oh, somebody broke into my house. You know who does that? An animal does that. How ridiculous. This argument is so ridiculous. Where in the conversation of the George Zimmerman, Trevon Martin case, do we hear about anything like that? I mean, the case is very basic. 
George is on the ground with Trevon on top, and his head is getting bashed on the concrete. This is fact. This is legal fact. All right? So the rest of you people that have this thing, this this attitude that Trevon was doing nothing wrong, you're an idiot. All right? You're an idiot. And then to do it based on race? Well, if you're a young black kid and you're working around a neighborhood you weren't in before, well, I guess I could shoot you and Where kill your you. father. That's right. That's right. Yep. Trevon was shot because he was black, because of the clothes he was wearing. Had nothing at all to do with the fact that he was beating George half to death. Nah, did not a bit. lives. Yeah, it's not a strange neighborhood. It's your father's neighborhood. Yeah. And you know what? When three Fox News co-hosts all stare at you at the same time like you're an idiot, you know you said something pretty out there because they're used to hearing this stuff. I would shoot Geraldo dead for that mustache. If he walked into the I room. was going to say it. I find that mustache threatening oh and God. offensive. Yeah. So. so there you go. They just made a threat to Geraldo. So now Geraldo has every right to defend his life. <laughs> How ignorant. Anyway, that's the point of my video is that the Young Turks, Jink, and pretty much all the liberal left, I don't want to say liberals because, I, you know, some of the liberals are on the right side over here. But I, I want to say the Trevon Martin supporters, because if you're a Trevon Martin supporter, you know, you're an idiot. All right. You're you're just an idiot. You, you have either no information about the, the facts of the case or you've just decided that, you know, for whatever reason, you're going to ignore the the idea that Trevon was bashing George's head on the concrete, or you're one of those people that believe that George just should have forfeited his life because this was a, a black teenager. You racist people, come on, man. We are people. Who cares what happened to be the color of your skin? You don't get a special pass. If you're bashing somebody's head, you're going to die, all right? Hopefully. Look at him. What's he hiding in there? There could be a bat. <laughs> Ignorance. Ignorant people. Anyway, good talking to you guys. Talk to you later. Bye.